Numbers next. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to How To With Star. Today's show is how to make a visual food diary using an Excel spreadsheet. First of all, I will explain to you a little bit about a food, a visual food diary first, and then I'll go on to what you need and briefly how to create this Excel spreadsheet. <clears throat> food diaries can be classified as a creative means of evaluating the food you eat. Recording your food in a food diary. You know, it gives you room to evaluate what you, the foods you eat, and also you can track your progress with it. And you also are able to think twice about the food that you're eating before you actually eat it. Okay, to go on with this video, what you will need is a digital camera. You will need a digital camera. You will need... Uh, index card. This will be used to take along with you wherever you go during the day. Either at work or at home, you will record exactly what you eat for that day in this index card tablet. Okay, and another thing that you will need, you will need Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, you can also use an alternative software program which is called open office okay now I will continue on to this how to create this visual food diary using Excel and here we go okay now we'll proceed with the creating of your spreadsheet you want to open up your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet as you notice I have already created my visual food diary but I will go through the necessary steps that you need to take to create yours. Okay, what I did was created, I got me about six columns for my category, my headings. You'll, you will be using six columns and an unlimited number of rows. The columns in each cell should be meal image. Meal or time of day, what I ate and drank, where and with whom, feelings before and feelings after, a total of six columns going across. Now, the second thing you would want to do is go ahead and freeze your pain. When you freeze your pain, no matter how many times you insert your items, you will always be able to see your category headings. So what you would do, do to freeze your pain is to let the row before your first image, like that. And then you go to Window, and you would freeze your pane. And this is the difference when you freeze your pane. See, you can see the headings no matter where you enter information. Okay, now to insert your image. It's very important that you save your image in the same folder each time so that you'll know exactly where to get your images from. Okay, now I'll insert my image for one of the meals that I ate today. I insert picture from file and I click on the image and I click on insert and it comes on the aisle where I had my insertion point. I mean the sale, not aisle. I'm thinking I'm at the grocery store. Okay, and then you want to adjust your size. Okay. The meal of time of day that I ate this chili uh, cheese steak was at dinner time. Okay, and then I would tab over to the next column, which is what I ate and drank. And I ate a Philly cheese steak, which, of course, I should not have eaten, but I ate it. I ate about a cup of potato chips. And... Probably about three teaspoons of grape drink. Not grape soda, but grape Kool-Aid. I didn't drink much of that because I had been drinking water just about all day. Okay, where? You'll tab over to the next column. Where and with whom? I was home 
at my computer. Okay. I ate alone. Okay, feelings before that, I wasn't really hungry, but I knew that it was my dinner time, and I knew that I didn't want to eat too late. So, i just say I felt, I didn't really feel hungry. So, I'll leave that blank because I really didn't feel anything. I just knew it was time for me to eat. Feelings afterwards, I felt very full and heavy. But I didn't feel lazy, so I put but not lethargic. Okay, and that's basically how you create your visual food diary. You get your little cute banner design. You put this on here, and you insert your images. You record the meal or time of day, what you ate and drank. Where and with whom? How did you feel before you ate? And how did you feel afterwards? And save the spreadsheet. You save it as. And you put the, you would type the name that you would want to, you would want it saved as. And you click save. This already exists, but I'll go ahead and replace it because this is what I want on it. And that's basically it. And that is my session of how to make a visual food diary using Excel. Thanks.